Yeah, no more cripping, cuz. I don't want to be a crip no more, cuz. No more neighborhood. Only neighborhood I want to be in is at my grandma's house. We all getting hit. Lil' Pep got hit. My other homie got hit. Somebody slide. Nobody ride. They don't want to ride, cuz. These niggas ain't loyal, cuz. Niggas ain't even got $20,000, cuz. I can't even go to Lil' Pep funeral. I don't even want to go to the funeral. Everybody mad at me. We supposed to be in this together, cuz. I don't even want to play Call of Duty no more. Tell Lil' Dirk, I'm sorry. Tell King Von family, I'm sorry. No more neighborhood, cuz. I'm not cripping no more, cuz. Ain't no more cripping. What's going on? It ain't supposed to be like this. I want to play Call of Duty, get a kill streak, cuz. We been the only ones feeling that kill streak, cuz. I can't do this no more. I had to focus on me and my child, me and my daughter. I don't care how nobody feel. I'm not doing this no more. I'm done. But if anybody play with me, cuz, I'm going to knock them down. So before you go talking, you come my way, cuz, I'ma knock you down. It's simple. And I don't want to play Call of Duty no more. We can't get no kill streaks. We can't get no packages. We can't get nothing, cuz. It's a war zone, cuz. And we losing. I can't do this no more. Hell, y'all, so... It's your boy, Buddha. Now, check this out. Quando Rondo dropped his flag. He don't want to be a crip no more, right? He don't want to He don't want to be a crip no more. He say they ain't loyal. They ain't riding. They ain't, they ain't turning up for the guys. They ain't turning up for the gang. He rather just focus on himself and his daughter. You feel me? And uh, that's what he should have been doing from the beginning anyway. These gangs ain't different, bro. It's always like that. Some gonna ride, some not gonna ride. Some gonna look out for you, some not gonna look out for you. It ain't all what it's cracked up to be all the time. You know what I'm saying? And he don't want nothing to do with it. But the part that got me is, is like, you you just put it out there on social media that you denouncing your flag or, and you ain't cripping no more. You could have took it to the table with them. Maybe your homies might feel some type of way. Maybe the other people that you was with, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they going to feel some type of way. I don't know. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, I feel like, I feel like it's a good decision. But at the same time, you wanted to rep that so hard. You wanted to do that so bad. You wanted everybody to know that. You you wanted everybody to know you was crapping. Chain, colors, everything. Then, when other people died, one minute you try to act like you ain't know what was going on. I had an out-of-body experience, cuz. Tried to act like you weren't with it. Tried to act like it was funny. NBA young boy pop up. Next thing you know, you all on Clubhouse, ton OTL. You all over here saying you want to play Call of Duty, do this and that. So, you know, it's kind of a double standard thing. It ain't like somebody that you know been putting in work for the gang and you done did time. And when you did your time, you ain't hold them down. So, you just walked away like that. Like, no, nah, it, ain't, it ain't like that. It ain't going down like that. But in this situation, like, a lot of stuff that you brought to the game you know what i'm saying they weren't riding for that because them was your problems you did all that like y'all from y'all hood was already game banging or whatever y'all was doing bro they didn't ask for to be in like all that all that rap stuff or all that rap beef and 
the thing about Lil Pimp, Wack 100, which we don't know if it's true or not, but Wack 100 said that was for Lil Pimp because Lil Pimp ran off on the plug and y'all tried to escape on the plug and whoever y'all was dealing with, you know what I'm saying? They got down on you now. I tend to believe it's some truth to what Wack saying because the dudes out of LA and the dudes from LA kept dissing, you know what I'm saying? Lil Pap and Quando Rondo. But Wax say the dudes that did it weren't even from LA. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? But that's where it happened at. And, and, and said, they ain't have a problem with it. They ain't ride for it. They ain't stand with it. Then it's just like I'm seeing a lot of the OGs come out and talk down against what he doing. And I'm looking at them like, y'all know these shorties ain't got no direction. Y'all know these shorties ain't ten toes down and put their foot in. Y'all know these shorties don't really know what's going on. But y'all be so scared to approach them, so scared to pull them to the side, so scared to give them some guidance. Then when they crash out, or when it's too emotionally distressful for them, then y'all want to come back and, oh, you ain't real, or oh, you a lame. No, he didn't want to do that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it is what it is. He don't want to crip no more, but because you denounced it to the world like that, you got to carry that weight. You got to carry that weight from your hood. You got to carry that weight from your block. You got to carry that weight with your guys. You got to carry that weight to... The other sets that's around the U.S. That's, you know what I'm saying, Crip that and did and that. Because, I mean, you know, people going to feel a certain type of way about anything you're doing. But a lot of people don't like the fact of the way you did it. Like, you just took it to the internet, dropped your flag and said you ain't Cripping no more. When you could have just went to your set, went to your neighborhood or what. You really ain't even have to announce nothing. You could have just changed up and, and just been doing you. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. And then, like I say, too, you saying you're not cripping no more, but you saying you still won't smoke with anybody. Okay. What you, is you finna go move with NBA young boy or something? What you gonna, I mean, like, bro, like, you stir up all this, con and this is what I don't understand, right? You stir up the controversy. You play into the controversy. And then you don't like the outcome. You ain't have to get on club, has to be dissing OTF and still be dissing King Bump. But I seen what happened, bro. And like I said, you weren't even turned up on that situation till NBA Youngboy came out and started speaking on it. Till NBA Youngboy was like, nah, F them, y'all did right, this, that, and the third. Then once you seen NBA Youngboy turn up on it, then you turned your savage up on it. And I ain't gonna even lie to you to keep it real with you. That ain't even really too much got nothing to do with your game besides the work that little Tim put in. But as far as the actual game go, they could be looking at that like, like, man, that's rap. Like, that's some industry type stuff. Like, they can still feel a certain type of way about it. And then, off the basis alone, that it really all happened over females at that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, NBA Youngboy run 4KT and his crew and all that, but... As far as the, the, the neighborhood Crips go and as far as the rolling 60s Crips go, NBA Youngboy don't run them. Yeah, he don't run them. Uh, he might run y'all. He the leader of y'all, but he ain't the leader of them. So, you know, you got to look at it two different ways. Like, let's just say I was over there with them, right? One of the first things I would have been like was like, man, listen, we ain't finna be getting into it about no bras. We ain't getting into it about no females. I'd have had to hit dirt. I'd have had to hit Von. Like, hey, look, check this out. We ain't beefing about no females. We don't get into it over no females. If y'all want to do songs back and forth and all that, cool. But all that, you know, shooting and fighting and all over, over, and the females that started it, sitting back, sleeping with us, you know what I'm saying? Sleeping with other dudes, still being with other dudes, still getting ran, still giving top to other dudes, still trying to run up their social media views and likes and counting, still clout chasing. You know what I'm saying? Vaughn gone. Uh, Lil Tim might spend the rest of his life in jail. Lil Pab got all this stuff going on. You feel me? But 
when y'all when you felt like y'all was winning, you played into it. Now that y'all losing, you wanna what you wanna run away from it. And your team probably looking at you like, no, nah, nigga, it's time for you to slide. It's time for you to put in work. It's time for you to go handle it. What like what situation like what situation did you handle? We seen what little Tim did. We heard the move Lil Pal tried to make. We heard about your other guys being pressure and putting it down and out. We seen your guys, you saying they ain't loyal and now listen that. We seen them going to you, uh, going with you to your shows. We seen y'all at gas stations, cripping it up, big banging. You can't tell me they weren't riding, they was right there with you. We heard about y'all getting shot at the gas station, all that. So now they probably looking at you like, hold on. Nigga, you ain't putting in the work. You ain't been holding up. We ain't loyal. What have you did? Like, 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 now you saying, oh, niggas is broke. Niggas ain't got 20K on it. How nigga gonna focus on getting his money when he ain't focused on trying to keep you alive? When they been riding for you. When they been taking on all the beef you been bringing their way. But y'all must ain't got no OGs out there. There ain't no OG pull you to the side and tell you that. It is what it is, though, family, man. Y'all get in the comment box. Let me know what y'all think about Quando Rondo dropping his flag. He still won't smoke, but he no longer cripping. It's your boy, Buddha, man. I'm out.